Hello everyone and welcome back to my crafting series of Guild Wars 2. Today we are going to actually start crafting stuff as a jeweler. So, once you have collected your materials as I showed you in your last in the last video, um you know you'll have copper ore, you won't have this yet, but you'll have copper ore and then you'll get turquoise pebbles, amber pebbles, and garnet pebbles. These will randomly show up while you're mining stuff or cutting down trees actually you can find these they it's all random so it's jeweler is actually a pretty hard um crafting trait to to take on because this is random finding these and these are the basis behind a lot of the stuff so luckily the trading post is open so you can actually go and buy this stuff now which is really nice so if you don't want to wait, you can just go buy Garnet Pebbles or Turquoise. So, yeah. Alright, hopefully you have a bunch of Copper Ore. So, next thing you want to do is find an area where they're actually stationed. So, if you are like me and you started as an Asura, you can travel over. So this is your starting area. You'll travel over to... It's called Decider is it autumn and here you'll see jeweling station armor smithing station these are the stations where you will actually be crafting if you this is the easier place to make it to i believe otherwise if you have access to uh red assume you can just come here this is where i'm going to go because it's a lot larger area well, basically, you need to find one of these areas. Um, I know Lion's Arch definitely has one. It's going to be a lot of the big towns um, or outposts around. It's easy to find on the map, too. Just look for those symbols that say, you know, the station. So you see, here's a symbol, weapon smithing station, jeweler station. All right, so when you come here, you're going to want to go to the jeweler station, which is over here. Okay. And it's the one straight ahead. Are like cream. So, Good ones this is the actual the station. Here is the master jeweler. You can talk Greetings. to her, and she'll Junior. actually get you supplies. Listen. Salvage kits. So, here are the harvesting tools that you saw in the starter world, all the copper ones, and you can see the different levels. So, there's iron, steel, dark steel. So, yet. Yeah, this is required level 30, so I cannot, I can buy it, but I can't use it yet. And then we have Mithril, which I also can't use, and then, I don't know how to pronounce that word, but we have this one as well. And it goes higher than this, actually. I've seen, I think, gold ones, gold tools. Okay, so you can get stuff from her. Otherwise, there's the merchant here, who also has the same stuff. And then, the second level are high-level recipes. The second tab here are high-level recipes that cost karma to purchase. I haven't purchased any because if you look at the level, you need to be a level 125 in, in jeweler to actually even make this recipe. So I haven't actually bought any of these yet. This is the top level, so 400 is the top ranking in any crafting discipline. That's a really cool sword. Anyways, let's actually craft. So you walk up to a crafting station... And you can see it says Jeweling Station. Press F. So I can press F. You can also go down here where all these people are standing. And press F down here as well. This brings up your crafting screen. So anything in red you will not see off the bat. You will also not see anything in this um, gold color right here. These um, It will look gold to you. So Copper Ingot will be highlighted. This is the first thing you want to do. This will take your ore, so your copper ore, this is everything you mined, and it will convert it into copper ingots. So craft you can craft one, and because I'm such a high level, I don't get experience for this anymore. But if you're just starting out, every time you craft one of these, you'll get experience. And then if you craft a bunch at one time, you get like bonus experience. So if you, normally you want to craft all. So take all of your copper ore, craft it into stuff, and you can see how it's getting faster and faster and faster. That's because I'm creating a big bunch. If I was a starter level, I would probably be at close to level 5 by now because I had so much. It goes quick. Okay, after you get a copper ingot, the base 
for all of these jewelry that we are going to make starts with a copper setting. So this is kind of like a ring at the jewelry store or an earring or a necklace. Well, not a necklace. You can't make necklaces yet. You can make rings and earrings. So this is going to hold the jewel. So we want to make... I wouldn't suggest crafting all these because we got to make some other crafting components. So for now, there are three things you can make at starter level. So I will, I will craft three copper settings. So we'll go over here. Three. All right. Okay. So I crafted three things. And then I'm going to go for earrings. So earrings bands it's exactly what it sounds like it's a band so that's going to be more like a ring a hook this is going to go in your ear so this is going to be the base two earrings so we'll make three of those and now you'll start to see there's numbers next to these that means i can actually make this when you start out though you will not see this as an option so what you have to do is go to discovery and you drag in so you're going to drag in your copper setting you're going to drag in your copper hook, and then you get to pick one of these um, pebbles that hopefully you found while you were mining. As you can see, it says crafting material, says artificer 25, jeweler, it has no parentheses. That means this is a crafting material you can use at zero level. If you're an artificer, you have to be level 25 in order to even use this. But since we are level, you'll be a level zero jeweler. You'll plop this down here, and then it'll say, you'll see an icon down here that'll say, there's a new crafting recipe. And then you'll click craft. And then you'll get a ton of bonus points for discovering a new recipe. You'll come back to production, and you'll see your new recipe that you discovered. It'll always be in here, so you never have to learn it again. So then you just craft it if you want to get another one. So let's craft this. And it's gray, that means I'm too high of a level to even get experience from this anymore. But after you craft it, it'll now be in your inventory. As you can see, right here. Amber Copper Stud of Festering. So it's got plus 5 condition damage, and then it's got an amber pebble in there. So it has a plus 3 condition damage to give you a total of plus 8. And these are actually... If you can craft your own accessories, so here's the accessory area over here. Crafting your own accessories is actually better than buying them from buying them outright from the merchant. It's going to have a lot better stats on it. So it's it's good to have someone in your guild or have a friend maybe that you can craft this stuff with. Ah, and one important thing I forgot to mention. Before you can actually start crafting, so this is a very important thing, you have to talk to a master jeweler or any type of profession you want to do or craft skill My ears and then you. they'll ask you if you'd like to become trained in this profession and you say yes so let's go to one that I'm not trained in and I'll show you what it looks like so I'm not trained in armor smithing so we'll find the armor smith here we go talk to him you need right here. here you'll see this option please teach me to be an armor smith so I'll click it for now you can only be trained in two of these uh, crafting skills so in order for me if I want to be an armor smith I have to deactivate one of these I will not lose all my rankings in it I won't lose all of my recipes but there is a cost to it so there's a cost based on if I want to reactivate my jeweler I have to pay based on um, what ranking I am so you can definitely switch back and forth but I'm gonna keep what I have for now when you say yes, then you can go over to the crafting area and start crafting like I showed you before. Discovering new recipe. So the recipe for the next item. So we did, we used amber, I think it was, correct? Let's look at uh, inventory here. Yes, we did amber. So it's pretty simple to discover the rest of the earrings. It's garnet. So you'll drop a garnet in here and click craft. Once you have that, you can, when you click craft, it'll actually show up in your inventory for the very first time. And it also shows up here as a recipe so that it would show up as garnet stud and you could make another one. And then the next one would be again, the copper setting, the hook, 
and then turquoise, and click craft. And then you have learned three new recipes for earrings, and they'll be listed like this. Amber, garnet, turquoise. Now if you want rings, you're also going to need... So let's make a... Since I talked about it, let's make a garnet and a turquoise. All right. This side shows you how many of these items are required. In parentheses here shows how many I have. So I still have three turquoise pebbles, but I have zero copper settings and zero hooks. Now if you look at my inventory, you can see the stuff we just made. Garnet is always going to give you power, but turquoise is always going to give you vitality, and amber is always going to give you condition damage. So, next, if you want to make rings, you're going to require a copper setting again, so let's make three. Craft. And this time, you're also going to need bands, so we want three bands. We'll craft those as well. All right, go back to the discovery tab because you won't know these recipes yet. Drop in the setting, drop in a band, and then once again, it's one of each. Drop in a garnet pebble. It'll say a new recipe has been discovered. Click craft. All right, then it'll show up over here in the ring section. You'll have a, what did I put in my craft? I think I put garnet in there. You'll have a new garnet copper ring. So I'm going to craft another one. And you can see garnet copper ring. Six power plus three power from the garnet, which gives you nine extra power. And as you can see, this required level is level 10. So you can craft these at a very low level, but you won't be able to actually wear them until your character is level 10. All right, so the same thing happens for discovering the next garnet, or the next ring so i'll put an amber pebble in there craft production you'll now see amber and there'll be one in your inventory i'll craft another one same thing with turquoise you'll come over here do the same thing so turquoise copper ring let's craft that and there's the turquoise ring okay so that's basically it that is all the starter items you can make up to level i think the next level here let's look at our collection so another good tip is if you don't have a bank around but you find a jeweling station if you go up to the station it gives you access to your bank and your collection so that's kind of cool um let's see the next level you'll have to wait until you're level 25 before you can actually start making more see so before you can start making different kinds of items here so let's see, so our jeweler, I can't make anything there. So let's see if I can discover something new here, which I cannot. So we will make a copper stud. So let's get a hook. I'll show you what it looks like when you get, when you discover a new recipe. Let's see if I will be able to discover a new one. Pearl tiger, I don't think so. No, I've already discovered everything. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you. However, I'll make a pearl stud, let's say. And I'll show you what it looks like when you actually get experience. So I'll get experience for this. There we go. I got 531 experience for crafting one thing. So what you're going to have to do is basically grind through making a bunch of studs. You know, keep refining copper ingots. That gives you a lot of experience until you get to level 25. So you can see I'm level 45. Until you get to level 25, then you can start discovering more things. You can add in um, the Malkite pebbles, pearls if you find them. And what else is a 25? Jeweler 25, Tiger Eye. So that gives you precision, toughness, and healing. And then you can, it's the same process going to be copper bands, copper settings, or copper hooks. Bands are for earrings, hooks, sorry, bands are for rings, hooks are for earrings. You can see these red things. These randomly popped up when I got to level 45. And it's kind of like a freebie recipe because it's crafting components. Crafting components and refinement will always show up. 
What won't show up is the outcomes. You'll never see earrings or rings showing up. You have to discover those for yourself. These are red because I can't make them yet. Level 50. So once I get to level 50, I'll be able to use... Oh, nice. I'll be able to transmorph a lot of these little pebbles into actual... Like here. A Peridot Nugget. And then you can make higher level stuff. Chains are going to be used for making necklaces. These are going to be used for making pendants. So that about does it, though, for the starter crafting overview. I'm going to go sell these now to the merchant or maybe on the, the trading post. That's a good way to make money, actually, is to craft a lot of things and then just sell it all. So stay tuned for next episode where we look at some higher level crafting in jeweler and then we will also look at the starter level crafting recipes for the artificer which makes weapons for casters so it like me so you're looking at mages i mean elementus mesmers I believe necromancers also so thanks and uh stay tuned